Hello and welcome to the Quick Start Customize the Chart of Accounts video tutorial for EasyLaw. Click Customize the Chart of Accounts to proceed. The Customize Chart of Accounts feature is used to add general ledger accounts and to edit and delete general ledgers. A sample chart of accounts is included by default, but you should review this list and customize it to suit your needs. If it is easier, you can print this list under the accounting menu. Select General Ledger Reports followed by Chart of Accounts to print this report. You can delete the entire list except 9999 if necessary and then add general ledgers as needed for your firm. It is however recommended that you simply edit this list as necessary. Do not delete General Ledger 9999 the Suspense General Ledger as it is required for system maintenance. To edit an existing General Ledger, click Search and select the General Ledger you wish to change. This list displays alphabetically, but by simply clicking on the GL Account Number heading in the window, you can change the sort to Numeric. To add a new General Ledger, enter the Account Number. Account numbers must all be the same length and can be up to six digits long. You will be prompted that the account number does not exist and do you wish to add it. Use Enter, Tab or the mouse to navigate through the fields. Enter the description of the General Ledger account. Select an account type. Account type 1 is Asset, Account type 2 is Liability or Equity, Account type 3 is Revenue, and Account type 5 is used for Expense. Select a record code from 1 to 9. Record codes 1 through 7 are used for header accounts. Header accounts help to separate the general ledger. Record code 8 is used for posting and record code 9 is for total accounts. If you are entering a header account you have up to seven different levels in which to set up your chart of accounts and you can refer to the printout for ideas on which number to select. If you are adding a total account you will also be prompted to set the level Please refer to the printed chart of accounts for ideas on how to assign total levels. Level 1s are subtotals and they add up posting accounts above them. Level 2s can only add up level 1s and so on. For the purposes of this discussion, I will be making this bank account a posting account. Beside bank, Select General or Trust if it is a bank account, otherwise select No. This field only applies to posting accounts. Select Page Break if you want General Ledger reports to start a new page with this account. You can often make this decision once you have completed your chart of accounts. Summary applies only to operating statement report. Select summary if you do not want the account to appear on the oper operating statement and instead want to view only the related total account. If you are adding a bank account you can enter the last check number used, last receipt number used, and also the color of the checks. The check color displays when entering general and trust checks and helps prevent entering a check for the incorrect bank. Click Save to finish adding a new general ledger. When creating trust bank general ledger accounts, I recommend that you create separate general ledger account numbers for banks where you have both types of trust regular trust and interest bearing or term trust. 
This will assist you in not only reconciling your trust, but keeping the two types of trust separate. Once you have finished customizing the chart of accounts, you may have to edit the control account under System Settings of the Settings menu. You may once again find it easier to print the chart of accounts under the Accounting General Ledger Reports menu. Control accounts are used to reconcile your general ledger with your clients. Control accounts are also updated automatically during posting and are the basis for the system balance report which ensures the integrity of your da data. You can learn more about this report in the System Balance video tutorial. Select the System menu followed by System Settings and the Control Accounts tab. Make sure that each control account name exists on your chart of accounts and that the corresponding number is correct. If you wish to continue with the Quick Start setup of Easy Law, please select the Quick Start Time Codes Types Video Tutorial Next.